hospital, so it has everything on board. I ran a parameter, reformatted the hard drive. <laughs> what it is, what it is, what it is. You do, you know what he is. It's your boy the moose, moose squad. Let's kick it. All right, all right, all right. Pick up the drums. Hey, welcome back to the channel, boys, girls, chickens, and all that good stuff. Whatever you want to say yourself as today, welcome. All right, so today I'm not going to bore you with some bullshit. But I am going to answer my, my brother here, Mr. Alan Kemp. Now, he's been a... He's been a member of this virtual DJ group that I've been a part of since April 2nd of 2018. And he's a top contributor, mind you. A top contributor, mind you. Well, what would make you want to ask this question? Where can I download music without Wi-Fi? What? Maybe if you, maybe if you, I don't know. What? How? Okay, so I, uh, let's think about this. Okay, so there's no Wi-Fi in the building. You got a phone signal? Just asking. Just asking. Why not use a phone signal? Oh, well, uh, 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 excuses. You know what they say about excuses? Excuses are like assholes. Everybody has them. <laughs> no. Sounds like to me this. And I'm going to explain it as a novice. And I'm going to explain it as a pro. As a novice, I didn't give a fuck if I had the song or not. I'd go, with the, I'd go to their DJ and then I'd, I'd figure it out as I went. But then I heard of a couple devices that I could start using to help me with my DJ and um, just... One of those things that my, um, my experience is, I've been running Microsoft computers since 1994. Yeah, 94. A year before, actually, I used the 360. Um, uh, actually, it was, uh, the, the first, it was actually the first build before 95. So I was using the first build of Windows before 95 came out. And we didn't have these then. God, no. They were, they were this big. Look, they were this big and this long, right? I kid you not. A hundred megabytes. A <laughs> hundred megabytes. Man, they were, they were that long. And that thick, and you can only put a hundred megabytes of information on it. <clears throat> okay. Now listen. The funny thing about this was, I remember when the first gig came out. When they, oh my God, it was like, it was like that. Oh, that moment. But listen, Brian. Brian, my friend, <laughs> what do they say? If you ask stupid questions, you get stupid prizes. Well, this is one of those stupid questions, stupid prizes things. I'm 51 years old. I'm 51. 
And I'm going to use this as an example. I remember the internet when it first started. Well, I know it's kind of funny. But y'all wouldn't be laughing if you don't know. And those of you who do, right, no. K-N-O-W, right, I know. Right, I know in the comment section right now at 4 minutes and 52 seconds. Right, I know. Because guess what, my friends? The turtle has entered the building. And I mean turtle as in you plug it into your phone jack and you put in a... You've got mail. If you know, you know. Type in and know where that came. You got mail. If you know where that saying came from, type in. I'm not going to say nothing. So type in, you got mail. Where Jay, Where did that saying come from? Because that motherfucker retard. Will, that, I'm sorry. That, that stupid dummy will get on there, got mail. And you'd be like going to look for it and you... You're online through a dang phone hoping nobody's going to throw you off the internet because as soon as a phone call comes in, your ass is your ass with no lawnmower. So that was it. And then the funny thing about it is I just, it just cracks me up. And everybody else tried to get on board with it too. But it was too late. But so what I've learned so far in my life is you can't trust internet. You can't trust it. Public enemy, I mean, yeah, public enemies saying that song can't trust it. They know better. Can't trust it. You got to fight the power. That's right. You got to fight the internet power. So listen, if you're using that whole demeanor that, well, when I get to a gig, hopefully they got a Wi-Fi. Hopefully they, I can get an internet connection and everything will go smooth. And you're sitting there worried about that when you could have got off your lazy butt, sat down in your darn chair why you had internet and get on the phone and say, Hey, yeah, what kind of request do you want? Oh, you want that? Okay, so you want the slot? Okay, then you want, oh, that's a good song. Then you want, uh, uh, Papa Don't Preach? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you want that song too? That's a good song. South Park, South Park theme song. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just trying to. to uh, oh, well, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I've never heard of that song. So then you do the ultimate. You're stupid. You're young. You're dumb. I'm not going to say the last one in your FC and you're full of, y'all get it full of C. Y'all know it. Fill in the, I, 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 I keep it clean, keep it clean, guys, keep it clean. But y'all know what I mean. You, when, when an old person says, well, you're young, dumb and full of, that's exactly what it is. Cause that's what, exactly what you're acting like. But anyway, so. Asking questions and building the list before you get to the place so that you can actually perform and maybe even outperform what you did before at the last time. Making sure that all the music you get, see, this is what it gets me. This is what gets me. Uh, let me show you this. And this, I, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, sure. 
I share sound, even though I'm probably not reusing it. Okay, so let me show you this. Okay, so I got the other one on. It's plugged in. I got the big boy plugged in. So, all right. So this is my folder list. All right. You see, I got my folder list set up. I got it set up on my local D drive. See, it's a local D drive. And I got it all the way down to Zydeco. See, I even got a Zydeco folder. And this Zydeco folder's got over 536 songs of Zydeco music. Okay. I, I'm trying to get to the point here. And not one duplicate. Not one duplicate. Right? So let's go to Virtual DJ. I'm going to show you how I got it set up. So you know, I thought it was pulled up. It is. Okay. So look, here's my, here's my top, uh, local C drive, right? And here's my D drive. Check it out. So here's my D drive, right? And I check it out. Here's my Zydeco. As you can see, it's all pulled up and it, it's, um, some of it needs to be done, but we'll just go ahead and do it now. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll select it all. And then we'll go ahead and run it. We'll batch it right now. And while we're talking about it, I want you to know this is what you have to do. So you got your hard drive and you got your music on your hard drive. And you're not. Now, the reason I got it set up this way, I had to do this because... Um, I just refreshed my hard drive. I took everything off it. Um, actually what I did was I took it, I zipped it to a zip, my old, uh, you know, zip file that I put it on this hard drive. I went back, restored this hard drive. It's a Western digital, so it has everything on board. I ran a parameter reformatted the hard drive <coughs> excuse me I'm getting sick reformatted the hard drive and then and then as you can see it's going back but that's this is what you need to do my friend you need to make sure that your music is always sunk and ready to go now I'm not bashing you at all this wasn't a bashing video and it's not supposed to be a bashing video but what I want to tell you is, is this. As DJs, when we go to an event, we need to make sure that we have a bunch of stuff first. Before our equipment gets loaded even into the car, before we even get to the gig, we need to have one. We need to have a playlist going. So we need an idea of what they want, right? So that's what you're doing. You're picking the brain because you want to see what kind of audience you're going to be DJing to. Not to necessarily meaning that everybody's going to be listening to that music, but you get an idea of what the couple wants first. So if you're doing a wedding, you want to make sure that you get in with the couple and get the information from the couple. But you're, and if you're doing a party, the same thing. You want to make sure that you pick the brain because you want to know what you're going to have to have because you don't know what to expect when you get there. Being two steps ahead of yourself before you get to the event, that way and in some, some scene event happens, they don't have Wi-Fi that you're so dependent on, then you're in trouble. Don't be dependent on Internet. Don't be dependent on anything. Because like I said, dial-up, man. Dial-up, you could be dependent on dial-up and you're fucked. Dial-up wasn't that way. Once you turned it on and somebody called you, you're fucked. They'd throw you off the damn thing. Now, excuse my French. I know somebody's going to get mad at me because I said fucking two times. And they're going to like, well, YouTube's going to give you them. You know what? This is not set for children. This is set for 18 and older. And I did it on purpose because, oh yeah, oh yeah. You all know that, right? YouTube, if you don't 
You have to be funky, finky, flinky with it. Get finky with it. You have to get finky with it. Yeah. If you know Diane or, you know, get finky with it. <laughs> Diane or, man, those two were crazy. Well, actually, there's three of them. They're all crazy. That that whole Diane or shit is fucking insane. Oh, man. Leave a comment below if you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Zeph House. Zeph and House. Insane. I love it. I love it. This is raunchy. This raunchy South African rap, but it's awesome. Uh, if you all know, you'll know. Look it up on YouTube if you want. Uh, here, here's what they're called right here. Put the Diane. Go check them out. Anyways, so I'm done with this video. It's not a rant. It's not a rant. This is a boost up instead of a boost out. I like what this this person said, and I'm going to use this as a close. And if you know this quote. You watch Sticks and Stones. He doesn't punch out. He doesn't punch in. He doesn't punch up. He doesn't punch out. But he punches his lines. All right, Dave. Thank you for closing this video out. But anyway, if you all know that one, uh, leave a comment below. Said that because to me, he's a goat. And I know where DJ is, but I, I gotta mention Dave sometimes because Dave Chappelle is just in, in, in it. But if you know, okay, so if you know what I'm talking about, the sticks and stones, name the city, name the city that he's talking about. Because he's not in that city and sticks and stones, but he's talking to them about where that happened. Leave a comment below where it happened. Leave a comment. Just, just leave a comment. Just leave a comment. Okay. All right. Deuces, babe. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Go ahead and share this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ring that trusty bell for more notifications for videos like this and countless others. Smash that like button and check out one of these videos right down here. And deuces, baby.